G'day, I'm Joseph Ganinan, uh, second lieutenant from Crip Point. At about uh, 10 to 4 on Saturday, we uh, got a page for a grass and scrub fire at Glossop Street. And uh, as we left the station, we seen a column of smoke. On arrival, we uh, noticed that the fire was burning behind a property that uh, had very difficult access. So uh, assessing the situation, we made tankers three, but that quickly escalated to make tankers eight. Uh, and we split them up uh, either side of the fence. We uh, had a weather report of northerlies, obviously, um, gusting. Uh, flame heights were roughly five to six metres because we had a lot of tea tree around and a few pine trees in the midst of it. And uh, yeah, when the weather change, when the wind change comes through, um, we'd already knocked out the the north and uh, northeastern eastern side of the fire, and um, yeah, we quickly contained it. There was some blackberries and long grass involved uh, on the fence line, and um, yeah, they're very easy to knock down when uh, when we've got water there. Initially there was threats because of the northerly blowing. We uh, had a, a workshop down here that um, very hard to gain access to. And we set up a tanker there for asset protection. Later on that, that vehicle, um, when we contained it, was used for water cartage um, as the, the water point was a fair distance away. Um, tankers involved were Crip Point, Bitten, Balnearing, Summers, Murida, Hastings and Tired. The fire took roughly 30-40 minutes to get under control and uh, then the, the hard slog to, to black it out.